Hi, I'm Dr. Maureen Berg. I'm the Ecology and Conservation Course Leader at Brighton University. And today um, we are at Sheffield Park um, in Sussex. This week is really in place for students to gain a maximum of experience and field opportunities. And we are doing a range of surveys. So we've done heathland surveys. We're doing water vol, so um, kind of standard techniques that are used for ecologists and then we're going across fantastic location in Sussex such as Cookmere, chalk grassland um, and, and so on. Essentially the first day that we did was like I said uh, heathland so we was um, out in the fields studying and doing identification keys. Today's a lot more jam-packed so we've done um, invertebrate sampling and identification in the little stream down there. Now we're doing water voles, uh, we're going to have a look for water voles um, and I've been look at the populations of those. So all these locations are within easy reach and that means that our students can go and look at a multiple different types of habitat and also experience and get their hands on on a range of species identification, skills and so on. Although ecology can take you all over the world, I'm, I'm very interested in, in what goes on around, you know, in the local area and there's a lot of, a lot of work from this department in the local area which I it seems to be a really good thing, a real benefit. Typically each year have a set of technique and a set of kind of ecology and conservation um, topics and it's kind of building from your previous year. There's an optional module for introduction to marine biology and ecology and that was really interesting and gave us a bit of a step into the whole marine world which is obviously really vast so that was really really interesting and in second year we have physiology of organisms which again is like quite a broad scope of all the different things like plants like microbes everything so yeah they're really good enjoyable modules. <laughs> My favourite module probably has to be global environmental issues I took that up just because I know that it's so important to learn about it and I was like, you know, if I'm doing an ecology course which goes hand in hand with <laughs> saving the planet and stuff, I might as well learn about the current issues and yeah, it was it was nice to sort of know about the severity and what, what specialists are actually doing out in the field to help us sort of like, for example, water and health sanitation, giving us real life examples of how that is carried out and how the concerns are met. Within our course, we kind of address aspects of biodiversity loss, climate change, uh, sustainability, but also what we try to integrate is actually an applied version of it. It's not just teaching about it, but it's thinking and being creative and getting our students to think outside the box and how they can solve those problems. We want students to not just understand and uh, say, learn about the theory but also be able to be entrepreneurial and be able to apply that knowledge to solve those global issues.